Once again, it's time for a collab with fellow creative Karen Tamir in our favorite way with a swap and make. We are so happy we reached out as Karen has been creating and inspiring artists over eight years on and off YouTube. Stay to the end and click through to watch Karen's video with all the goodies we sent her. Hello, this is P. And I am M. Mariah. Together we are PM Artist Studio. Now let's get started. And all here right, we are. here it is. Oh, this is always so exciting. It is. And Karen sent, uh, I believe what, you know, it was well beyond um, <laughs> scraps and things, which we were very appreciative of it, and some super, super cool stuff. Not all of it made it into our build, but you know. It, it, it will show up. Hey, and we're going to do the thing where we're, you know, you'll, you'll hear us talk about it throughout the video here. Um, put scrap in, in the comment section below and some of this will be uh, yours. There you go. There you go. That is the coolest little, I loved the, the ribbony, what do they call them? Like rosettes or yes. cabbage roses or something like that, I think it's something. I, 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 they could be, but yeah. yeah, they're made out of. There we are. And yes, indeed, it's gonna be a journal. <laughs> I decided a spiral one, nonetheless. Cause I hadn't busted out with that in a little while. Works out well. I'm kind of reassessing things right there. Now, a lot of this stuff ended up getting gel printed, but I wanted to prep some things and that's kind of what I'm doing here. Getting those tags Stand ready to hang. Yeah, so, and I'm handing that off to you. Right. And they, oh, see, look, that even came back already. Joke printed. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm fast. I don't know what that lovely, lovely piece of paper was. I'm guessing that's what people, like, everybody talks about uh, the deli sheets. Oh. I think that's what that one piece is. And it was printed. Well, I was going to order printed. some of that. I not, yeah. forgot. And then these lovely napkins that came from oh. Karen were just really cool. You know, we're not big napkin people. We It's not because we, you know, not interested. It's just we've never really had any. And so these were super fun to work with. I enjoyed that little symbol thing. And so I tried to bring that throughout the pages. And how I started this is that I was using old, or pages that I had pulled out of one of the mixed media spiral journals that we use for art journal pages and things of that nature. Because it got too fat. Because it got too fat. So then I chopped them in half, and I love this size. This seems to be my very happy place of journal making size. And then those are the pages that you sent back to me, and I then came in with my little techniques of collaging plus spraying. I think I only used a little bit of, that's some of our paper from the Pleasantly Purples, you know. Oh, yes. Yeah. I used one little piece. I meant to use more, but it just didn't, you know, it was really patterned and I liked the more grungy. Unpatterned. Unpatterned. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with that. Yeah. Because you have your, your, your napkin there for your A little visual. bit, of, yeah, a little bit. And I, I think it would have taken away. And then, what was crazy is I so I sprayed that with the well, picket fence. Well, I saw fence. that and I was like, oh, oh yeah. my goodness. But, you know, it ends up, it, it was actually one of my favorite pages because it just sort of blobs out. And now, the reason we're doing this as a really quick speed through video is, I mean, number one, if you're interested in seeing something more in depth, let us know in the comments. We'll make a video doing that and really focus in on that particular technique. <sighs> right now, we wanted to just kind of give an overview of, you know, my process, creating journals, P gel printing, passing it back and forth, spray, spray, spray. <laughs> sponge, rubby, sponge, rub, sponge, rub, rub. <laughs> rub gluey, gluey, glue. <laughs> Wipey, wipe. Yeah, my board is oh, like. Oh, I saw some of that turquoise on there that didn't get wiped up. No, it is like on there. I, I can't get it up. I've even scrubbed oh. it, so. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and I don't really remember exactly why, but yeah, don't worry about that blue behind there. It's, it's not coming up. It doesn't up. seem to be coming up. Okay. <laughs> Good to know, because it does. It does, yeah. And like I said, so 
you know, this is kind of that common thread. And we, we were reading some things we heard in, a, in another um, video the other day. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember that too, but I can't remember. The common thread. And the common thread throughout this particular journal is the jelly-plated, I think that's deli paper. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's deli paper. I don't know the technique, so hopefully Karen will be able to enlighten us on exactly what she How had done. How that was created. Because it didn't feel like acrylic paint so I'm thinking there was some other media used is my guess ink pads ink pads perhaps and then something was drawn on there I mean it's really cool and and went with everything oh this was one of the other little pieces that was sent and only one little rose was actually used in this video <laughs> that's the other thing like I'm probably gonna do more to this particular little journal thing, but these sprays worked beautifully on it and held up pretty nice. Now I will say that they did lighten up quite a bit once it was fully dry, but I thought Izzy had uh, hauled off with it. And then turned she out- She was I, I just, fond of it. Yes, she was. I gave her a couple pieces of it. And that's one reason it didn't end up in the journal more is that I had hidden it from her and then of course myself in the hiding. Now this piece that you see right here ends up being the cover and it was just one that you had done I think during a live just to pull off oh it was I just to clean I, off a plate. I didn't even mean to grab this I just grabbed a piece of paper because I and was really nice paper. wanted to get it off of the plate before it set up and I had to go through the whole rigmarole again um, because I was going fast yeah, it's, and it was necessarily it's really the cool neatest. Stuff. It has a bit of texture to it. It's shiny. It does. It's all our favorite things. And then she gel printed on it, and it became even more of one of our favorite things. <laughs> now, one of the reasons I use the opposite <coughs> side is I just thought it would be more interesting and have a, you know, that fluffy sort of rough edge. So that I purposefully did things backwards when I was zuttering. And there we have it. I did have to clip off that a little extra bit. But best to be on the safe side. Yeah, so you don't have get, like one wonky. Have to get yeah. a tetanus shot when you view the journal. <laughs> that too. <laughs> so now I even went through and you, you kind of saw me holding up the, the pages, going, making sure that, you know, P was like, yeah, that all looks good together. And then there was some kind of leftover stuff. That's why I went ahead. I had that one piece left. And thought it was a really nice thing at the beginning of the book to be able to put that in. And then Karen um, also included that cool little, I don't know if it's sorry ribbon, but it, it certainly has that sort of feel. Mm -hmm, it does. And then we found our old 2019 word of the day calendar and thought, all right, I'm going to use some of those. And I think that's something else that I'd like to bring in more of, you know, later on. But I thought, you know, you, you, this gets you the, the, the gist of it. The gist of it. And those cool little tags, they had some wording on it. I, I, I liked some of it. Um, I kept the feeling because I liked the feeling. And then that was some of the wording that we kept. See, I had plans to use more of that. Mm-hmm. And it just got put away. I got, well, yeah, it got hidden. Oh, that's that most wonderful, fluffy. I don't know if Karen made that paper or what, but yes, oh, we I would definitely like to know more about what yes, that is. And P gel pl printed the and it yellow. It does a beautiful job. Oh, it was awesome. It takes the color so magnificently. Yes. Now, I was um, struggling a wee bit with some of my words there because it was like, it's just kind of barely fitting on there. Um, but that made a most excellent pocket. And then a little side pocket on the edge for a little tuck. Because I like that idea. None of that went to waste. I even have one little piece left over. Oh, speaking of which, I think that anybody that leaves us a comment below will enter you into an into um, a drawing type thing where we'll send the scraps off to you next if you would like that, but you must leave a comment below 
and tell us what you want to do with the scraps or that you just want them and love them. Yeah. And it'll be the things left over from, from what Karen said and then also from what uh, we have left over. Not my words though, I'm keeping the words. <laughs> We might throw in some tags and things. And you can't have, I don't think we have any of that one paper left. Mm-mm. I think you used every little tiny bit. Yeah. Now, I did slow it down a little bit right here because I thought that this was kind of a cool opportunity to show a little bit slower the spraying technique. Plus, you had done some stenciling, which you can really see pop up. See it? Mm-hmm. And I think it was just a wipe off. It was. And then, you know, this was obviously very purple, so needed some <laughs> yellow. Sprays are always the best way to bring that in. And most of the ones that I used in this journal or on the papers here are the eye zinc spray stains. Is that what, are they dyes? I think they're dyes. dyes. I yeah. believe dye is the word that's used. Yeah. In the and then a little bit of the Lindy's as well. I think those were the two main ones that I use. You yeah, gotta, you can usually tell because they're 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 very brilliant. And well, those are the yeah icing color ones. loaded. Yes, and then the Lindys tend to be a bit more subdued, but love them so much. Well, they play nicely together. They really do. See and look at that. Oh, now that's those are both the icings, and I was very very happy that everything that Karen had sent really coordinated with one another. There was just a little hint of the pinks, the purples, the yellows, and all that. So it was left to us to it, be able to I know, I hope that we reciprocated whatever. in that manner. I think so. I tried, I think. It's been a little while. I know, I, <laughs> I forget. And I used to take pictures of things that I sent, but then I started like losing track of that. So <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know, it's hard. Keeping track of all the happy Ooh, mail. That, that really bright. It did get really bright, but don't worry, it, it it toned down. And see what we were doing with those. Those were some of our leftovers from um, the tag video that we did, where you know we stamp first, then do some gel printing, and look at how cool that was. I didn't even realize how much of that was still some acrylic paint there from the gel print, and then oh. once I sprayed, it really like didn't you know didn't. Showed didn't up. do anything. Yeah. See how chilled mm -hmm. out it got. It's yeah. not so crazy. It's all good. I was just trying to figure out where things are going to go. And that was for another day. <laughs> Here we are on another day. And I used a blotter cloth and I went ahead and added more spray to it. Because I knew that I was going to need something else. And I was out of the most wonderful deli paper stuff so blotter cloth <laughs> what was Napkin. that stuff there that's the napkin oh it's the glue stick oh yeah the glue stick i saw the purple and i was going what is that what is that? i never use glue sticks yeah, she does i not. think they're totally totally annoying <laughs> she gets mad with them but when you're doing the napkins it's a great way to keep them fluffy they stick on it's it's tedious work i, I know I, re I remember the napkin thing that i put down and i had I, you could see every one of my little dots fortunately it's kind of yeah, I she did worked a pattern, it yeah, she did but it wasn't intentional <laughs> i didn't know that was going to happen uh, this paper was kind of uh, the word of the day is almost like newsprint so oh. it has a similar situation where stuff shows through yeah and you'll see me come through with um, my little scrapey tool, and that's one of the reasons that I do that, so I don't have the little dot, dot, dots. Oh, yes. Stencil butter is what we got going on right now uh, with our fingerprint stencil. Available in our shop if you're interested. <laughs> Link below. It comes in a larger version also. It does. <laughs> But the little one's fantastic for these little journal pages, adding little accents just like this. I love that one long run of it. And then you can use the swirl if you want to use a swirl. It's good stuff. Really it is. And it's also the bamboo now, is I, like that also. I want you to watch this brilliance I, I, right here coming up. This is, see, this is a thing like P would not ever be able to do because it requires like some 
Did you see that I flipped that over? But I have something there holding it up so I can still work on another page. Amazing. <laughs> so I have like three or four things all, you know, going on at the same time. Some masterful planning. I should say. Mm hmm. I am in total awe. Now, the other cool thing I, that, sorry, while I was kind of yammered on there a bit, is that on my wipey cloth, I had still some of that gold stencil butter and I rubbed it into the uh, back of that back page. You'll see more of that here coming up. I'll tell you what, that stuff is pretty, a, a little it bit keeps goes on, on giving. Yes, it does. In fact, I think that is what is on my board. I think. The blue stuff? I think the blue stuff is stencil butter from when ah. I was doing the other tags. Mm -hmm. uh, did you try scouring it? I did. Hmm. Yeah, I took it to the bathroom and everything. <laughs> the blue is here to stay. A wee bit more of that business. CP hates this sort of thing. Like oh, it's just, it just drives me absolutely. <laughs> I can bet. I can just pick and yeah. pick and stick. <laughs> pick and stick all day She's long. She's a pick and sticker. Mm -hmm. A pick and sticker. No, I'm, I'm just like large pieces, please. Yeah. Get her done. Get her done. Look at that. Again, Look common this. thread. Uh, yes. A little bit of that sort of everywhere, creating that harmony. Absolutely. Unity through repetition. Big fan. Yes. Now, see, that's the little bit that I used of our paper. One of the great things is, is keep in mind, this is inkjet printed our printables. And then the color sprays are so cool because it'll either kind of bleed it out or whatever, but it looks great. Like if you do it just right, you can kind of get that. That was a that good technique. shot. That you... Thanks, I actually took pictures of that. Oh, I like That's the why little, I was... <laughs> little, little low, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so now this is sort of the final run of, of everything. Putting in all the little tags and creating pocket, additional pockets. Cause I'd created some with like the cool fluffy paper. Mm -hmm. This is that burlap stuff. Yeah, again, something a little tricky to work with. I thought it was gonna glue down a lot faster, but- It rivals. I, yeah, and it was a little unruly. So I had to kind of hold it down. <laughs> a stiff. Yeah, acquired a, a firm hand. <laughs> Say that. I'm looking at the original while yes. we're doing this because... And then I did my little fluffy thing. I know you weren't crazy about my little cluster, but I'm quite proud of it. And I think it looks very pretty. I don't know. What do you call those like when you do that on the, like the photo albums, those little corner... Is there a name for those things? Widgets? <laughs> no, that's something that turns around in a circle. A widget? Mm-hmm. What are the thingamajigus? That's that thing too. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So see, and then P was like, no, I don't really like that. And I said, yeah, but what about it on the page? See, now it makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Remember that conversation? I do remember, but when you were holding it up, I said, no. did you just have this wild hair that you're going to put some it's pink, pink stuff on? Time to put some pink stuff on. And that took me forever to get that thing undone. Because <laughs> you don't know where the end is. Because it's all fluffy. It is. It's tricky stuff, that eyelash. Oh, it's, it, uh, yeah, it really is crushing. And then you got to glue it down like that or, you know, sew it. Sometimes I sew it, but I decided to glue it. Okay, spray, spray, spray. Dab, dab, dab. Tear, tear, tear. Pocket, pocket, pocket. <laughs> so I did these like little shallow sort of, more like tabs. Well, they didn't have to be too terribly right. big because they yeah. were going to hold a and great I, big huge thing. Yeah, and I didn't want to, you know, have a big... Well, you wanted a lot of your sh your yes. tag to show. Exactly, and the page because, you know, we'd worked on that stuff. Yeah, it's like those collaging people that make all that beautiful stuff and I know, they and cover it up or something. Up, I just, I don't know Why how you do it. Why bother? There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Thank you. All right, you know, fluffy, fluffy stuff there. Gluing down the fluffy stuff. And one more, similar to the other little uh, pocket thing that I did. Right. Kind of tabbed-like. And then, you know, tags with fluffy bits, because I just, I love that so much. 
love all that fluff coming out. <laughs> makes, I love that you love it. I know you do. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> See, there's some going to be some good gel printing pieces that I can put in the scrap bag to go. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. And even some of that, there. I mean, there was a whole roll of that thing. I should gel print some of that. That would be pretty Ooh, that awesome. would be kind of cool. It'd leave a nice texture on it. Yeah, the let us too. know in the comments if you want your, uh, if you want the burlaps uh, gel printed or not. <laughs> With or it's, without. It's, it's already kind of stiff, so it's not yeah. going to change the texture no. very much. <laughs> and then you can come over on, maybe, maybe if you let us know, and then we'll do it on whatever live stream after that. <laughs> Seriously. See, it just takes a little minute because it gets a little wonky. And then you got to hold it down, sort of press those pieces out. And then I was like, well, it's not really deep enough to hold that tag. But again, I didn't want to cover up the whole page. So I was like, I'm just going to use another strip going across. Because it was our, I already had some nice movement with the, with the deli paper that Karen sent. And then it's just a little, little shallow pocket again, but I, I also liked it at an angle, kind of fluff, fluffing out that side there. Absolutely. I figured you'd have something to say about I, it. I, did you like it? Yeah, I okay. did. I mean, I, I don't always like diagonals. You right. know that. I think I, that they take you somewhere else. But there was enough kind of other things that you, it was keeping it's, you in the page. It's dark enough at the top that it gives it. And I had to hold it down somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it was just going to puke out. There you go. Yeah. That was kind of like a good placement right below the big Thanks. dark spot. Yeah, and then I even came in. I think I trimmed it. I don't know. I, I'm i pretty sure I came back and trimmed it if I didn't trim it in the video or not. Because I had oh, a whole over thought there of, on the right Yeah, corner. to follow the, the little line. Yeah. Which is nice. You know, that's the thing, too. You want to you wanna be aware of what's already happening on your page. Follow those lines. Keep the person engaged within the page. Engaged within the page. My goodness, mm -hmm. listen to that. Bumper sticker right there. That certainly is. Or we but can the, write that down in one of our... Our PM Artist Studio um, thought, thoughts, thoughts and quotes. And words that we like. And words <laughs> things, we like. And things we say often. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag mucky muck. <laughs> If you want to know more about that and you don't know what we mean by that, you'll have to join our Facebook group. But there you go. Look at look at this I little do, I love B roll. The crenulated edges. Oh, thank you. It's like a Roman. Yeah. Fort. It really fit with like, you know, that yeah, the little sunrise, you know, Tuscany feel to it. Yeah. Absolutely. Some and then swirls. you have that all those lovely variety of textures yes it's simple plenty of room to add all those other tags and things that I, I do want to do and there you have it thanks Karen Tamir for sending us awesome stuff and if you like this video let us know by giving it a thumbs up give us some comments below remember to put in scraps and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already don't forget to ring that bell thanks for watching bye, bye.